Hey, it's Dr. Cruz from Healthy Bee Podiatry, and it's been a really long time since I shot a video, and I couldn't pass this one up because it's a foreign body. Oh. Last one I had was a fish bone um, from a catfish tail or something like that. I pulled it out, but that was at the um, hospital where I did that, not in house. So today we have a nice sewing needle, and that is just the fifth metatarsal, so you can't really see the sewing needle, but let me see if I can get this on the TV. Oh, there it is. So you can see it's somewhere over here, right there. And uh, I marked the spot on the foot, so we're gonna start uh, exploring um, where it is, and uh, we're gonna find it. That's it. We'll get it out, and then she'll be on her way, and she won't have pain in her foot anymore. Um, the one thing that the uh, one of the medical assistants brought up was, did she have an updated tetanus shot? And that is a great question because anytime you have a metal bo uh, foreign body or anything metal scrape you or cut you, you have to make sure that your tetanus shot, shot is updated because we don't want tetanus, right? That's not a fun thing to have. So um, unfortunately at the uh, urgent care that she went to, they didn't really check for a foreign body. They thought maybe it was just infected, infected so they gave um, uh, a uh, antibiotic, oral antibiotic, but they never did a tetanus update. So we're gonna have to do that and uh, she'll get that done and then we'll be in the clear. So let us begin. First, I'll make sure that she's not feeling anything. So, any pain? I mean, I feel you, but no. No, okay. Just let me know if you have any pain, okay? And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to move all this stuff out of the way because I can't work with a piece of metal in front of me. Oh, okay, I know I'm being picky, right? And I just have to get in there, close to the foot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tilt you up, okay? Okay. All right, there. And then we're gonna make a little small incision right about there. No pain, right? No. Good. And I'm going with the relaxed skin tension lines so that we don't cause uh, too much detriment in healing. So I'm going to move this back so I can lift her higher because this is a really awkward angle to be at. There we go. This is going to be fun for you. <laughs> Poor Jelaine is on her knees recording this. this is, it's called okay. Sacrifice. She's up for a raise at some point. I'm <laughs> be a soldier. Yeah, be a soldier. Be a soldier. Be a soldier. Oh, now you ask. Uh -huh. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Recording? I am. Okay, very good. So, I'm pretty sure we got it now. Oh boy. Oh boy, there it is. Oh boy. Oh boy. Got it. Yeah, I got something all right. And so here's the thing. Now you look at this nail or whatever this thing is and it doesn't look like it's clean. It's no, rusty. It yeah, she needs so we got to really, really make sure that yes. we have that um, tetanus update because that's yes. not fun to have in your foot. So yeah, a little bit dirty. I don't like that. So we're making sure that she's updated on her tetanus. But honestly, one of the, uh, this is how foreign bodies go. It can either be five seconds or seven hours of digging around. Luckily, this was the five second one. So thankfully, um, I didn't make any false promises to the patient saying, it's going to be quick and easy. Don't worry about it. Uh, this was actually true today. So um, that's it. I'm going to flush it out. Some saline, um, sew her back up. Again, I use that relaxed skin tension line incision so that it seals, it closes properly as opposed to opposite where it doesn't heal as easily. Uh, patient can be placed in a surgical shoe so that we can minimize pressure to the area so that it heals again properly. 
the patient's young, so I don't anticipate any problems, but nonetheless, antibiotics are gonna be on there, and then also tetanus uh, update. So this is Dr. Cruz. I hope you enjoyed my very quick foreign body removal. Um, I'll pat myself on the back later when my hands aren't bloody, but uh, yeah, that was pretty good. So I will see you next time with hopefully another interesting case. Subscribe to our Healthy Feet uh, YouTube channel and our Healthy Feet Instagram channel and our Healthy Feet Facebook channel and our other channel that we have on social media. And uh, we will see you again.